Hi, in this Affinity Publisher tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create automatic page numbering. So I have my pages window here. If you don't see that, you can go to View Studio and put a check mark next to pages just by clicking on it. And I have this journal layout on a master page spread. So I can come into my pages, which is my actual document that will get exported. And I can click on add a page and let's just add maybe 19 more pages of my master, just like this. Now, if you were doing a book document, like a nonfiction book, or a magazine where everything's going to be different on every page, that's fine. You would just create all those pages here in your main document. And then you would just have a blank master where you put your page numbers on, like I'm gonna show you right now. So what we need is we need the frame text tool, which is this white box that looks like uh, it has a T in it. And I'm just going to put a text box here and I'm going to be on my master, not on one of my pages. And so we'll draw out a text box here. And it's hard to tell because it's selected right now, but my blinking cursor is sitting in there. And then I'm gonna go up to text, scroll down to insert, fields, page number. And that put just like a little hashtag mark there. So now I'm going to put another text box here. It also has a blinking cursor in it. Text, insert, fields, page number. And I'm just going to use my move tool to just kind of position this where I want it to be. And I'm going to actually even take this and go back to the frame text tool and just highlight that little symbol and using my justifications, move that over to the left. So now my numbers are positioned right at the bottom corner of this last little box. I'll just make one more little tweak here just to make sure it's lined up nicely. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go to our main document. There's a one, there's a two, there's a three, Four or five, it's automatically numbering it for me. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Um, so to recap, go to your master. Your master doesn't have to have anything on it. You can just use a master for the purposes of page numbers. Uh, but put the page numbers on your master using a text box. And then once you have a text box drawn out with its uh, flashing cursor, go to text insert fields and page number. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.